What's going on everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. I'm back. I'm back from the weekend. Father's Day weekend. Everyone knows how that all goes. Family comes first, everyone. That's right. Well, tell you what, this doesn't look like uh, the Rocky Mountains whatsoever. I mean, there are some, some mountains over there, but that's, it's not the same thing, don't you know? Um, but we are looking at something quite different today because many people were asking about this Alexander Longbow and wanted me to make a video just showing off the new arrows and just kind of the bow in general. I have uh, two variations of the bow here. I have the, uh, well, let's just look and see to make sure. We have the rough Alexander Longbow right there, and then we have the Ash version of the Alexander Longbow. Both pretty cool weapons. I enjoy using both of them. They're unique in their own ways. You got the uh, two different types of wood here in the Americas, so there you go. Um, but the cool thing about this Longbow is that it did come with new arrows, which we can use on the recurve as well. I should have brought out the recurve, but you all know how that recurve works. You know what? Maybe you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sec, it'll be, I'll be right back. Alright, back at the range now. Now, uh, I do have the uh, recurve with us as well. So we have the recurve bow and then we have the Alexander longbow. Now, I should go ahead and just equip the same arrows on every single bow so that we know that we're shooting the same arrow. So every arrow is going to act the same. But first off, let's take a shot with the recurve. And uh, most of the recurve is just kind of off muscle memory. You kind of just have to remember how to use this thing. Um, you know, take take a few practice shots here and there, um, but you get fairly good at it. But with the longbow, let's take a shot with this thing. You can see just by going and looking at where we're aiming with this thing. Let's bring up the uh, the recurve real quick. Look at the difference as far as aiming at the middle of the screen. You know, look. I'll put I'll put some sort of thing at the middle of the screen here so we can see the middle of the screen for this recurve here. Um, and then the middle of the screen for this longbow. You can tell that the longbow is going to be much easier to use. In theory. In theory, alright, but it seems like there's uh, quite a bit more drop with the longbow. You just kind of have to get kind of used to it, I suppose. But it's a fun weapon to use, you know. Oh, 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 look at that. Pretty much have to aim straight at it, don't you? working that's working for us get one of the old kitty cat over there yep that's that's doing well doing well a little bit of drop here maybe Ooh, doing all right there okay so that was the 540 grain there and then we can take a look at the 350 grain um, we'll throw the 350 grain on this uh, ash one and then we'll throw the 700 grain on the rough one there so let's take a shot with this ash and see if it performs differently as you can see it changed from a broadhead to um well it changed from a crossed broadhead you know i'm sorry you some of you probably have all the vocab for this sort of thing but you can see now with this arrow it is flying much faster and so we are now aiming underneath the target something that we are aiming just above with the 540 we are now aiming below it because it just it flies so differently. Let's take a shot at this red deer and just see. Oh, way low, way low. Can't even tell where they're landing. Let's see. I'm, that one was just above the head there, so let's see. Looks like it actually hit high. That was like right on almost. Let's uh let's take one more shot with it. There we go. We got one on target there. Okay, okay. Ooh, there we got the eight. The eight, and let's see how far away this uh, this old red deer is right now. Don't need a call. Don't need a call. That is at 110 yards. We're hitting this target with the uh, the longbow. So uh, that's that. Now let's take a look. Not at the Eckers. But at the 700 grain arrows here, let's take a shot at this old buffalo. Way low, way low. Hey, that's not too bad. Yeah, we're nailing this thing now. I'm 
not sure where we're hitting it. Oh, hit the 10. Oh, we just need to reset the target. There we go, just low at 55 yards, aiming a little bit above it. Oh, 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 so you can see we aimed uh, oh about a foot and a half maybe above it at 55 yards and we were right on target everyone so there you go there's a little bit of difference there um, we can switch back to the 300 grain and aim straight at this beast pretty much overlapping it yeah we were way over it you can see the arrow sticking up above there, a little bit better, maybe. Ooh, a foot below it. And uh, let's throw on the 540s again. Hey, we're on target though. So you can see I am just a bit above it too. So the 540s and the 700s fly somewhat similarly. I would aim about a foot to a foot and a half, right at 55 yards, a foot and a half or so above the, uh, the, you know, the target area for the 540s and uh, the 700s there. Let's test this once again. Yeah, right on. Good deal, good deal. That one is a little low to even still. So there you go. There's the targets anyway, as we uh, spent 10 minutes talking about this subject. Let's go ahead and uh, put some of this to practice. I've obviously, um, I didn't do this target practice before. I actually just chose a random bison that was pretty big, and I chased after him with the uh, 700 green arrows. So why don't you enjoy that video as I take down a pretty good sized bison in Silver Ridge Peaks with the new Alexander Longbow 700 grain traditional arrows. I tell you what, when it comes to using the mighty Alexander Longbow, which is not that, it's this one, the uh, Alexander Longbow, there is one thing I was super excited about and it is that it comes with three different arrows that you can now use three different traditional arrows that you can use for the recurve and the Alexander longbow remember that we used to only have 540 grain uh, broadhead arrows recurve arrows whatever you want to call them but now we have 350 grain arrows 540 what is it there we go <laughs> it's just showing up as a bird shot 350 green arrows 540 green arrows and 700 grain arrows for this magnificent longbow and so what did that get me excited about well of course hunting the mighty bison like the native americans of old and i thought what better time to do it than on a giant level four like this one 2177 pounds to 2645 I believe the same weight that you can get a diamond bison honestly think if we can get him to pause in that in between those two trees there we might be able to take a long shot on him Yeah, that's really short. Wasn't quite sure how close we'd be able to get to him while, uh, you know, in the middle of the open plains. That's why I joked about having the, the coyote pelt get closer to these plains bison. There he be, though, sauntering off as he does, as all the bison seem to do, just kind of wandering around. I'm the biggest thing here. Nothing can harm me, except for this Alexander Longbow. Once you get in range, you old bull. Now we got two of them to deal with. Ooh, did we get him? We might have hit. Oh man, there's pronghorn over here too. <gasps> Whoa! No, I don't want pronghorn. Don't want pronghorn. I want the bison. Where'd the bison go? Whoa. Oh, we got him in the butt. I don't think that's the big one we were looking for, though. Did get a good shot on him, though.
heavyweight he's down wow look at that one arrow and not even in like i don't even think we hit the lungs we're going to pick this guy up and then run after the other one yeah because this guy's only a level two but my god look at that arrow penetration with a longbow is that him he might be uh, quite a ways away from us now nope that's not him either my goodness how far away did they get That's him. I don't know why, but right here, we're prone. We are absolutely hidden completely. Goodness gracious. Oh, got nothing, bro. You got nothing. There he goes. There he gosh, dang it, man. I even knew when I squeezed off that first arrow, I was like, there's no way that's gonna hit him. But I still did it. I still did it like a numbskull. But look at this guy. That is sick. Just a level four though, I'm really interested to see how close to a diamond he is. Let's take a look. 187.7, my god, he still had a ways to go. 2,253 pounds though, that is a good size bison and we got the left lung and liver at a distance, 27 yards. Boy, it doesn't seem that far, or it doesn't seem like it was that short. Looked like it was a lot longer than that. There we go, very nice, 27 yards. And I bet what I'm noticing is that the 700 grain broadhead flies different than the other ones is probably what I'm seeing. That'll be interesting to test on the uh, target range for sure. Of course, you'll see that before you see this bison hunt anyway. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, this darn longbow does some damage even to the big ones like this bison, which is pretty really is really pretty cool so that's gonna finish up this video everyone thank you all for watching really appreciate it if you're gonna be around this monday evening we are going to be streaming silver ridge peaks here on youtube for two hours so come and by and uh enjoy silver ridge peaks live with me bo from bz hub of course and uh yeah we'll see what we can get i really want to get a uh, level three turkey i've been trying to find again and i'd love to get a nice good size bighorn sheep um, two things I'm really eager to go look for, so come on by, say hi, and uh, yeah, enjoy the hunt, everyone. Hope to see you there. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, keep gaming, never stop.